Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're finally going to be testing the Genmax GM7250. That's a 7,250 watts generator. This is the perfect size. I want to see if this thing is strong enough to power a 5 ton AC and use it for home backup. A lot of people ask me, can I use this generator for home backup and my RV? I think the 7,000 watt is right, the perfect size for a home backup and a 50 amp RV, especially that this one right here comes with a 50 amp plug. So I have it hooked up. I have my 50 amp monitor hooked up to it, going to the 50 amp inlet box. So let's see if the Gen Max dual fuel, gas, propane, I'm going to do the test on gas just because that's where we get our maximum output. As you can see right here on gas, we have a starting of 7,250. On propane, we only have 6,500 watts. So it's only fair that I test it on the gas. Make sure it can do that, that uh, huge compressor, five ton. So I do have it. Let's go ahead and fire it up. So it, it can be warmed up. I'll show you my compressor and all everything that comes with my compressor. Okay, I did select gas. And as you can see, we're pulling out 124 volts on both legs. So pretty much this is a 50 amp plug and you get 240 volts right here. So I am selected for 240. And I'm getting 124 on each leg. So let it warm up. I'm in eco mode. I'm going to do the test in eco mode because we're trying to save as much fuel if we're in a power outage situation. All right. Let's show you the inlet box. Let's get everything switched over. Before I do that, let's go check out my uh, AC unit, the compressor and the condenser outside. Let's go check out my condenser outside. Okay guys, so a lot of you are asking me what brand. This is my brand. This is my five ton AC. And I do have soft starts. So you can see it, micro air soft start. A few quick specs on my compressor right here. So you guys that need that. And the fan motor right here. All right, so that's what we, we're gonna be pulling. But I do have soft start to help out in the starting of the compressor. Right on it, 65. You see I'm talking, goes up to like 75. That's 10, five feet away. All right, guys, so we come to right here, my inlet box, 50 amp. This guy's connected. Okay. First thing you want to do is shut off your main. Then you shut your main off, lock out, turn your generator inlet on. Let's go. We're in 260 on this one, 280 on this one. I'll get inside. I'm going to turn on some ceiling fans and then we'll hit that 5 ton AC. I'll come back out before it starts so we can see the surge. Let's see if this thing can start a 5 ton AC. Okay, I'm at the AC. I'm going to lower the temperature. And see when the AC comes on, I'm going to try to book it outside and see if I can get there before it starts. Pulling 1.8 on this leg and 2.8 on this leg. So there you have it, guys. We're at 100%. We got the 5-ton AC running. 
I've barely made it out here, but it's, it started with absolutely no problem. All right, guys, there you have it. Gen Max 7250 is running the five ton AC with absolutely no problem. It is at 100%, but it's doing it. I have the ceiling fan, refrigerator, everything else on in the house, and it still started the AC with absolutely no problem. Okay, guys, so you can see it's still running. It's been around 10, 15 minutes. Still pulling the same, 118. Doesn't sound like it's straining, doesn't sound it's at 100%, but it just sounds like it's running real good. All right, guys, I'm gonna shut off the generator. So come right here, shut this off. We can turn our main back on after we do this, all right? That beep is my battery. Just let me know we lost power. So once you shut that off, you can turn your main, disconnect generator, turn your main back on. There you go. Come over here, shut your generator off, shut your fuel off. All right, guys, so there you have it. The 7250 will start a 5-ton AC using a soft start. Do I recommend it? Because it's at 100%, I don't think uh, the 7250, the 750 is actually made for this. It's running at 100%. If you run this that way for several hours, several days, it's not going to last you. I recommend you getting a 9000 to uh, do that kind of power. But it will start it because it's a workhorse. Just because it can start it doesn't mean um, I would run the five ton AC on it. But would I run everything else on the house? Absolutely. You know, it's a great backup generator and a great RV generator. So if you're looking to buy this 7250, highly recommended. Um, it starts the load, it runs the AC, it runs the ceiling fan, it has a refrigerator, everything's running good. But I would recommend you going to a 9000 if that's what you want to do is run a 5 ton AC and a whole home backup. If you just want to run your home backup, go for it. Guys, thanks for watching this quick video. Gen Max 7250 running the 5 ton AC, um, running at 100%, but like I said, I would recommend you getting a 9,000 if that's what you're going to do it. Do with it. If you're going to run your RV, great. This thing will run your RV with no problem. If you're going to use it as a home backup generator, just powering some uh, light loads like a refrigerator, a uh, window unit, stuff like that, thumbs up to it. But absolutely awesome generator. I love all the features on it. Gauges, remote start, dual fuel, push start, 50 amp plug. Awesome generator, parallel capable. Guys, thanks for watching this quick video. If you like these videos, please give me a thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.